It's, All right. <laughs> it's Tuesday, we're at Socha. I just finished removing a thyroid tumor from a dog. They tell me it was a bird emergency that was coming in. Actually, Dr. Stubbs called me yesterday and asked if I would want to fix the bird's broken leg. Um, this bird actually does not have a dangly, and according to her x-rays, I do not believe it's actually broken. Um, so what we're going to do is the, uh, the old-fashioned Thomas extension splint. Um, I found that it actually works pretty good on birds, and this is only they made a while back, so we're going to go ahead and modify it for this guy here. Anyway, the way it works is it actually goes around. There's a little ring that goes around the hip joint itself and then extends out on both sides of the leg, both the front and beyond, and actually connects several places to where we can actually tie the leg in and put it in traction in whichever direction you want to put it in. But uh, right now, this is what the bird looks like. In a minute after I start manipulating, the bird's going to get yelling and screaming. And so for you virgin ears out there, I don't want to hear your bird. I want you to hear a bird cussing. So we're turning the camera off, and in a minute, you're going to see me splinted. Later. Is that earliest day we're gonna x-ray this again next week okay okay <laughs> ow ow five dollars ten dollars no no you quit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you quit buying me what what is this all right well here we are it is now post procedure actually this bird only yelled at me once um so uh obviously we're on the right track anyway uh, this is Phil Thomas extension splint. Again, I described it goes around the hip there. The leg comes through the ring. Uh, there's a guard bar here, a guard bar here. So if we start trying to tune at it, it makes it difficult for him to get to his leg. Um, and, uh, and everything else is taped up. His foot actually is in a cotton ball, okay, where it's wrapped around it and then taped into place. That way, while this guy's not, not uh, grabbing bars and, and perches in the whole routine, he doesn't end up with his feet all stuck together and and contracted. Oh, he wants to go back to his cage. You want to go back to your cage? Here, let me help you. There you go. How's that for awesomeness? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is kind of like old, old medicine. Uh, old medicine and the fact that this was how they used to fix broken legs in dogs and cats before the, uh, the invention of externals and, and all that new and cool technology. Um, anyway, so, uh, <laughs> it turns out that they don't make these for birds. I had to hand make that one myself. Um, handmade by yours truly. Anyway, uh, that bird, that particular splint's probably fixed about four or five birds over the years. Um, I can remember two offhand, but we had to modify it again and even shorten it for this guy. Okay. Um, anyway, so, uh, uh, this is, uh, not a new technique. It's just something that you don't see very often in birds. Um, so anyway, it's kind of cool we can use this on. All right, I want to get an x-ray next week. We'll see how it's healing. Um, there is even a good possibility if this is not the fracture that, that she described, okay, and it's not the dangly that we were talking about, that this could come off next week permanently, okay? But I'm going to anticipate this being on there for a good two weeks. Okay, all right. Any questions? No? All right. Go back to this speech again with mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dude, what? What? Is that better? Is that better? That's a sad face if I ever saw one.